What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineer Survival on the lovely planet of Pertam. This is episode number 8, and in this episode we're going to be focusing a lot on base building. Something that we've been kind of neglecting, well I mean, not really neglecting, we've been doing base building with the, the hangar, but uh, we've been kind of neglecting the actual overall base. Uh, today we're hopefully going to get this refinery stuff actually built up, we're going to get an assembling room set up, we're going to get some sorters and some, uh, some containers set up, which is going to be nice for the future, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to finish up that power as well. So just a lot of base building stuff in this episode. Um, hopefully by the end of this we'll have a really nice base going. Now I did do a little bit of off-camera work, which I know you guys don't really like that much, but I, I just wanted to kind of plan out this episode a little bit. So off-camera I did set up this kind of little pathway here, uh, and also I set up this little stairwell going down, just so I have an idea of how I want things to look. So we have this nice stairwell in the front. Maybe we'll add one on that side, I don't really know. But, uh, but this also kind of helps us with this wall that we were saying we'd put up. So a little wall right there uh, that'll continue on that side, uh, of course, as well. Um, so I did that off camera. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, off camera, I did a little bit of stuff to the rover. Uh, so one of the things one of you guys was saying is that we should have some sort of sorter. So if you guys remember, we set up that thing over there at the mining base where we have the sorter kind of pushing the ores out, but it doesn't really work because the ores go into the connector and kind of just stay there. So what one of you recommended in the comments is that we have a sorting system on the ship itself that kind of handles all the pulling and pushing of things on its own. So the way this works is we have three connections. We have this one right here, we have that one right there, and then we also have the redundancy that we built in last episode, which is over here. Those are all of the connections from the connector to all these things, all these, all these containers. So here's how it works. When, it, when it's running in standard mode, you have the push and you have the pull over here. So it allows you to push the materials and allows you to pull materials just like if you didn't have a sorter at all. Uh, but when you turn on this one right here, this is an ore puller. So what it does is it automatically pulls every ore that it can possibly pull from this side. Uh, so what happens is when you turn on this one, it turns off these two so that it's pretty much essentially only pulling. And then when you turn off that one, it turns on these two so it's back to normal operation. And the reason it does that is so the ores don't keep pulling from here, and then this one sees them in this container and pulls them back around, and you get this de death loop of, uh, of just pulling things back and forth. So, uh, so that's how it works, and it's actually controlled via timer blocks down there, and that is controlled we also have a script right there. So I got into a little bit of scripting for the first time ever. I've been playing Space Engineers for years and I've never done any scripting, but I did get into a little bit of scripting this time where I did just a very small script. And that's that's literally just for that little that little uh, L L LCD right there. So the way this works is you have your, your sorters and when you turn one on, number nine, so you press number nine, it turns it on, you have pull ores active. And what that means is that everything is off except for the pull one. So what it's now doing is it's trying to pull every single ore that it can from this side of the connector. And then when you switch it off, let's go in here and press number eight to switch it off. Pull ores is now inactive, it becomes red. And uh, and we can see that back. the normal operation is back running and then the pull is turned off. So how this works in practice, when you turn it on, it just pulls all the ores. And when you turn it off, it just stops pulling all the ores. So the last thing that I did to the rover off camera as well is I just changed, I made this one minor tweak to the uh, the way the uh, the windows are, are shaped here. So it used to be kind of like it went over and then up, which looked a little bit weird. Now it just kind of goes up and then over, which it's kind of like the same thing, but uh, but yeah, it, you know, it's it's it just looks a little bit better, I think. So when you hop in, it, it literally looks the same when you're inside um, as it did before. So I don't know, just a minor tweak, but I think it makes it look better from the outside. Um, yeah, so that's the rover. It's pretty much done, but again, we're not really going to be using it this episode because we're doing, uh, unless we have to go on an ore run, uh, because we're doing, um, b uh, base work. So starting right off with the base work, the one thing I wanted to do is something we forgot to do last episode, or I, I shouldn't say forgot, but we more like, um, we got run off. So we were trying to, uh, set up the power here and then the lightning forced us to run away. Um, so let's actually finish that. We just need two... Uh, windmills up there and I think we have the materials let's put all this stuff back and we will see if we can make some uh, some windmills so let's go to windmills we don't have windmills anywhere okay turbine is it turbine or wind yeah it's turbine this doesn't pull apparently if you type in wind it doesn't pull up I don't think wind yeah if you type in wind it doesn't pull up that might be a bug or something oh wait no it does I'm just blind I've, I've done this so many times and I've never seen it actually you know what while we're here they actually added a bunch of new blocks as well, uh, so I don't know if you- I actually released a video where I was showing- showcasing the new weapons they added. 
Um, this isn't creative mode, so I can't actually show you right now. But they added two new pistols, or three new pistols, rather. They uh, they changed up all the original rifles, and they added two new rocket launchers. So uh, so that's pretty cool. Now if we add PvE, which we probably will. Actually, speaking of PvE, um, I think I'm deciding right now, I'm, I'm putting my foot down, that we're going to set PvE up. Uh, that is like Reavers or the Corruption mod or something crazy that will like attack us. We're going to set that up in episode number 10. I'm putting my foot down, episode number 10, even if we don't have anything set up or prepared for it, we are going to get some sort of hostile PvE mod. Um, and that'll allow us to use those new weapons as well. So by episode 10, we, we better be ready. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, so let's get the wind turbine stuff. Uh, wind turbine. Where is it? G, wind, right there. Wind turbine. All right, and I want to, with that, I want to grab some stuff. I think I was able to grab at least two, so that's all we really need. Now let's hop up here and let's place one down. Wind turbine, and that one's already placed. There we go, and here we go. Uh, now we're going to hold off on welding all this stuff up for now. We might toward the end of the episode if we just have a, an abundance of steel plates. But for now, I think that's that's fine. We have four wind turbines. Let's go and check their efficiency in uh, this. So I want to see our wind turbines. Looks like you guys have only good efficiency. So maybe I do need to actually go out one. Here, let me let me grab a couple of steel plates and I will uh, I will change this up just a little bit. So what I was saying when I was first building this in last episode is I was saying that there's a chance that we might have to go out one to get the, the optimal efficiency. So uh, so let's let's give it a go. There's one. We'll place it here. And weld that up. Here goes another one. Place it there. And weld it up. It's a beautiful day. There's not any storms yet. No, no lightning to scare us away like there was last episode, so we can get some of this stuff done. So that's actually an interesting question. Does it matter how high you are for lightning strikes? Like in last episode, pretty much essentially the moment that we that the lightning storm started, we pretty much got struck, uh, or, or at least the tower got struck. We didn't really get struck. So does it matter how high you are in a lightning storm? Or do you get struck regardless of where you are? All right, over here checking on the wind turbine statuses. It looks like we now have optimal wind clearance, which is only 313. I would have I would have wanted that to be a little higher. I think 400 ish is like standard optimalness, but uh, but it's fine. Unless we have a storm coming. No, we have clear weather right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's let's real quick refill our oxygen and our hydrogen just to make sure we don't run out. Actually, it would be a good idea to build another bottle, wouldn't it? Actually, if I were to make a gun, <laughs> I'm kind of interested. So I could make the S20A, which is the rapid fire pistol. I could make the rocket launchers, or I could make one of them. I, I don't think I can make the Pro. Yeah, not the Pro one. The Pro one is a laser. It fires pretty much straight, which is crazy. Uh, but it looks like I can make any of these rifles. The MR8P, which I think is my favorite, to be honest. Let's make an MR8P. Why not? Uh, and then let's make some MR8P ammo, which we probably can't because it needs mag. Or magnesium, not mag. <laughs> uh, MR8P. Okay, so we wanted to make a... I think they made another thing consumables. Oh, they added canvas to consumables. Okay, I didn't realize that. I'm going to attempt to make two bottles and two oxygen bottles. All right, how much of that, how much weight are you guys? 30 kilograms? It's fine, that's not that much. Okay, so with work to our base, let's actually start with uh, one thing I wanted to do along the sides here. So I was saying I wanted to add something along these sides so it doesn't look so bare. I think I have an idea. And uh, what, what that idea is, is adding windows. Let's see if we have any girders in, in here. I think I just put some away, so we certainly do. I'm just gonna take some girders and we're gonna add some windows here. So the idea that I had re with regards to these windows is one of these sloped ones like that. I think that would look cool. It would allow you to kind of stand on it as well if you wanted to. But here's the question. Do we want it that side or do we want it like that side where you can see? Like that still allows you to see, but it's kind of dark. Whereas the other side allows you to see, but it's very clear. You know, let's do the dark side. Let's go with the dark side for now. Uh, and see what that looks like once it's all welded up. And we'll do it on the... Oops, not right there. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, we'll do it on the top as well. That will allow a pretty nice a pretty nice look, hopefully. Let's go and see if we have some bulletproof glass uh, to build this up with. 
And we do indeed. Not probably enough, but let's let's make some more. We should at least be able to have like one. Okay, that's that's how it looks. I I don't actually mind that. I think that's fine. It goes pretty well with the dark aesthetic here. See, the only question is that I could also put it like right here, and that wouldn't look so bad. And then right here I would have a block, like uh, like just a standard block that goes down like that. Yeah, that wouldn't look that bad, would it? Well, I don't really like at the top how it does that, but... Alright, let's just keep it simple, just like that. Just a simple, uh, just a simple, like, wall. And, uh, and yeah, I think that'll look pretty good. We'll be able to kind of walk up here if we want to, or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, like, we'll be able to see as well into here if we want to. Let's finish up a couple of these and then go look at it from the other side. Well, we couldn't finish up that one, but... Okay, I think I kind of want the shade on this side, though, to be fair, because when you're looking up, you're looking at the sun, whereas when you're looking down into it, you're not necessarily, like, you don't need that shade. So I think we are going to flip these over uh, to the other side. It would make more sense. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All right, something like that, I think, looks pretty good. So it looks really good from this side. You can see into the hangar anything you want to see over there. And then if you were to go down into the hangar, uh, looking up, you would not have the sun in your... Actually, you can see the sun very clearly. Whereas before, you cannot really look at it. It's it's very uh, it's very glary. But here, that actually that's perfect. I think uh, we need to weld up those blocks down there. But then, other than that, it would start looking pretty good. Uh, one of you guys in the comments, by the way, suggested, and I'm just thinking of this because I saw these um, that we weld these up like halfway, like make them half welded. That's something I've never done before. We could try it. We could see what it looks like. Uh, let me go get a couple of steel plates, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, these guys are also in the product in the process of being uh, welded up as well. It takes a lot of girders and a lot of um, bulletproof glass. But let's get some steel plates because I did want to try that. Uh, so just a couple. Um, now I gotta see. I, I don't know exactly how, like what the stages of welding are, but let's try it with one of these. What else we got? Eh, that's not bad. I don't know. I think. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Okay, that's the first stage, and then the second stage is... Is there another stage? No, the next stage is full. Full on. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like it half-welded. I think we'll find something else to do here. Uh, maybe we'll use a different kind of block, like interior blocks or something else uh, that will look good as, like, rafters or something. I don't know. Uh, but I don't really, li I don't really like the half-welded thing. I know some people can make it look really good when it comes to... Uh, to space engineers builds but I don't know um, and then for this we're doing the same thing kind of with the with the windows over here but then we were leaving an entrance because we wanted to put the stairs here the way down pretty much into the hangar over here I mean there's a way down over there but this is this would be like the main way down uh, because we did want this to be our main promenade I guess is that is that what it's called the promenade I've heard that word before but <laughs> I think that's like the first time I've ever used it um, Okay, let's let's see if we can finish up those those uh, windows because I think we have all that stuff building, so we just need to do a couple of trips here and there. Having a little welding vessel would be pretty nice uh, right about now. Okay, I think we just need bulletproof glass now. Yeah, the problem is I don't have very much inventory space because of the restrictions that we made early on in the episode. Um, so, I mean, even though I love having these, they do kind of use up a little bit of my of my inventory space. Actually, those steel plates are too. I, I didn't even realize I still had those. Let's uh, toss the steel plates back. So with nothing in my inventory, this is like it's already using maybe like a a, a fifth of my inventory, or is that is that maybe even a fourth? Um, how much is that actually? Five hundred. Yeah, it's it's using a fourth of my inventory with nothing already in it. So we could like toss a couple of these. I don't know. Let let's let's toss those, and now we're using much less. Wait, I thought you guys only took up thirty. Yeah, thirty kill. Oh, liters. 120 liters. Because it's volume that we have, not kilograms. Ah, makes sense. Okay. So it, it does actually use quite a bit, in that case, having having multiple of those. So I think the plan is probably we'll have a bunch of those stored inside like our rovers and stuff. And if we ever need them, we'll go and, we'll go and get them. Let's make 200 more of those and then 300, 400 more of those, I guess. I don't know. We're going to run out eventually, but I'm kind of spending ridiculously. I'm stuck. Alright, last one. Uh, 
Let's cut out these two. I want to make a look like a bigger entrance than just the one. Also, it'll save on bulletproof glass. Uh, okay, let's get these all girdered up. One, two, three. All right, our windows are done. I want to take a peek from down here, from the from the center area. That's not bad. I mean, we got this huge glare over there, so I don't know about that. Uh, we might actually do like a half fill right there, like a half block, one of the one of the half ones. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be our entrance. Um, now I did think about a, a while between episodes, by the way. I, I thought a little bit about having the entrance right here, and just having it go across the length of the uh, of the hangar. So it would go like all the way over here with the catwalk, and then down. But then I figured if it's that long, I probably just never use it. <laughs> so uh, so we're gonna have the entrance right here. And the entrance is going to be made with um, catwalks. Catwalks. And it's going to be made with uh, ladders. Not ladders, but stairs. But ladder, ladder has all the stairs inside it. It's got all those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll have one go up and one go down. We'll have like two stairs. One goes down to the bottom and one goes up to where the rafters will be. Um, bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Like that. Or even cut this out, something like that. On top of which, we weld up of course. On top of which, we would then place some blocks. These blocks. Okay, so something like that, like a little overlook of the whole thing, and then we'll have the uh, the way down. Uh, and then as for the way up, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't really look good if it were. It would look good kind of if it was on the side right here. Or honestly, what we might do as well is we might just have a way up to the top, and then from the top you'd go down into the uh, into the rafters. But from the bottom you'd you'd have to come to this middle level first. That would make sense. Okay, uh, ladder. Help me out. We're gonna go for one of these, which is my favorite uh, my favorite downward looking block. Um, it doesn't fit really. So what we might have to do then is we might have to break this, and instead opt for one of these. Right here. All right, there we go. Same idea, but with a half slope. Uh, and now it should allow us to use our stairs. So we'll go down one. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to let me place a block right there. So we're going to have to use our light trick, which uh, someone taught me a long time ago, where we place a nice lamp right there, or, or, or a corner light rather, and then it allows us to place another block right here. We have to be very, it's it, you know, it's very picky. There we go. Okay, so like that, and then, honestly, I kind of wanted it to come down to the sides, so we'd have like a mini one of these, boom, boom, and then it'd come down. Okay, something like this, boom, 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 boom. I'm saying boom a lot, but yeah. So you come down the stairs, you're like, oh, I'm going on an adventure, do, 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 do. walk down, walk down, walk down. You'd have catwalks here, which would block you from falling off if you were running too fast. Then you come down this way, Suddenly you're back here, and you go forward like that. I mean, it kind of make more sense for it to come down forward like this, but then you're kind of... Well, actually, you're not really in the way of anything, are you? Yeah, okay, remove. We'll, we'll put something back here, like some containers to make it look nice, some some garble, some grobble... Put that... Okay, <laughs> I have no clue what the word is. Garble? Grabble? Garbly? Whatever people put on their ships to make it look nice, okay. I feel like I've already had this discussion in one of the episodes, but anyways. Um, okay, so that, and then one of these. So we have a, a bam, and then we have a one of these. A bam, and then another... Oops, that's the wrong way. Uh, nope, that's also the wrong way. Another bam, just like that. So, now let's pretend we're on a mission. We're like, oh, I've, I've just parked this car. Doopy doopy doo. I'm, I need to get back to the base. Which stair will I choose? I'll take the right one, because the right one is always right. And we go up. And boom, we're at the base. No jetpack required. If we needed jetpack, we'd go and grab it. And uh, and yeah, then we come down, take the take the right one again because the right one is always right. And uh, then we can go on our mission. Of course, I'm using jetpack to get up here because I don't like the ladder. But boom, now we're on our mission. Hurrah! <laughs> okay, I like that. Let's uh, let's let's do a little bit of welding then. Let's get this welded in. Okay, I think we have all the materials. Let's weld it up. Weld one. Weld two. Weld three. Four, five, and six. <gasps> no! No! We've run out! Okay, hopefully we have the stuff for this, though. Our little, uh, our little wing thing that we added. 
to make it look cool. That doesn't look that bad, I think. That, that's actually a pretty nice entrance. And again, we'd, we'd add some garble back there. Let me go and get some... I think garble is the word. I swear, it's, it, it's garble, not gravel, right? You had garble to make things look nice. All right, here we go. Just a little bit of stuff. Just some cargo containers over there. Maybe a couple shelves over here. One's empty, one's full. Maybe like a maybe a couple a couple more little containers over there. I think that really adds to the place. Eventually, when we get like an abundance of materials, we'll have to come back and like put a bunch more stuff over here. Uh, maybe make like a little workshop-looking area with uh, with like a desk or something. But uh, but for now, I think that looks pretty good. And we've got our stairs set up now too. We can we can run up and stuff. All right, let's start working on continuing our uh, refinery and assembler room. So we have our refinery room kind of set up. Uh, now, actually, one person put a really good comment, um, and I didn't realize this while I was building it, but uh, refinery, let me just put this back. Uh, so when I placed it, I placed them like this, right? I placed them like that where the container was on the bottom, but if I placed it like that, these ones right here cannot connect to those ones because we have stairs in the way. However, someone made me the genius idea of flipping them like that so they can connect up at the top. So we're going to do that. We're going to flip all these uh, just so that they can connect nicely without us having to do some uh, some crazy solution. So thank you very much, guys, for the comment. Um, yeah, we can connect up there with just like a little uh, one of these or something. We'll put like a little, little connector right there. Um, okay, so we are eventually going to weld these up. For now, we're not going to. We'll, we'll definitely weld them up in this episode, though, because we want to get them operational. But, uh, but for now, I'd like to get the whole system set up. So the way the system is going to work is we're gonna have ores come in through here. They're gonna go to an ores container, which is gonna be right here. Uh, and we'll place that in. Can we place it in now? No, we can't exactly, because we need interior plates. Let's just go and get a bunch of interior plates so we can uh, we can at least plan this out. I think we're gonna have to go on an iron expedition though, um, before we can do anything. But uh, let's, let's make more interior plates. Okay, so ores will come in to here I'm probably gonna have to remove that because I do need to actually wire this from there over to here on the bottom uh, and then from here th like so they'll get sorted like all the ores will actually get sorted into here they'll get pulled with the uh, with the sorter functions this will come over here and go into that it'll, it'll either come up and go in or come around and go in I don't know how exactly um, but it'll all get refined over here and then it'll get sorted into another container which I'm going to put out <laughs> which I'm going to put right here Number five, stick container, container right there. So it's a little bit close, like it's, it's a little bit tight, there's not that much space, but I think it's fine. Um, so ores come in there, push through there, get sorted into here as ingots. So this will store only ingots, that's all it's gonna store. And then from here, it's gonna go to the assembling room, which we have yet to build, but I think we might build it just right next to the refining room over here. Um, do we have steel plates on us? Uh, yeah, we do. We have a bunch, actually. Okay, so for the assembling room, I don't necessarily want to build it on the same level because assemblers are quite smaller than refineries. We don't really need to build it on the same level. But I do kind of want to build it on this level right here. What is what is going on? Oh, is the sun going down? Oh, I'm like, is there like a giant cloud in the sky? Uh, okay, it's going to start getting nighttime, which is unfortunate, but, uh, but we'll make do. Don't worry. Uh, so we'll build it like this. This will be our assembling room. And we're going to continue out this way. Not not up, but sideways. And uh, let me let me grind or let me drill this out just a little bit and I will continue in a second. I just want to get this all clear. I do need to go and refill my vitals as well. We're starting to get a little low. Vitals. So our actual assemblers are going to be This is going to get blocked off, right? So no one's going to be able to pass this. Our actual assemblers are going to be right here, so assemb assembler. Now assemblers also have connections for, uh, you can see on the sides here, assemblers also have connections for upgrade modules. So the way we're going to utilize those is we're going to keep an area out to each side, so left and right, we're going to keep an area out for the upgrade modules. So let's put an assembler there, an assembler there, and an assembler there. We're going to have six in total. One there, one there, one there. So the way it'll work is we'll have the... Uh, let me go to this block. We'll have this come out this way. It'll connect like this. So conveyor, just like that. And this will go to either of these. Down and up. Then this will continue out this way. And it'll do the same thing right here. Conveyor, it'll go up and down like that. So that way, 
all the ingots which are stored in here will be able to come through and go to all of the assemblers, which we have six. And if we need more, we'll actually either add up on top or out to the side, doesn't matter. And then each of these assemblers actually has space to each side, so that if we wanted to, we could throw in a, uh, a module. So we have all of them right here. These are the speed modules. Um, so yeah, we'd have one right there, for instance, and we'll have one right there, for instance, as well. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, these can't utilize yield modules, can they? I think only refineries can utilize yield modules, whereas these guys can utilize speed and power consumption. I don't really care about power consumption because we can always add more windmills. So for now, we're just going to throw a bunch of speed modules on there, and then uh, and then we'll weld up. Also, speed modules are a lot easier to make than yield than yield modules. Okay, can I not get through that block? Here, let's just let's just yoink. Uh, yield modules. So speed modules only require basic components, but yield modules require superconductors, which requires gold, uh, which I think we found. So it's not that bad if we wanted to use those, which we certainly do when it comes to refineries, by the way. But uh, but for now, it's fine. Okay. Let's just make sure this is pushed in, um, and it's actually only occurring to uh, occurring to me now. Oh come on, you're not gonna. There we go. That uh, on episode number ten, we're gonna add in a hostile PV. Uh, PVE mod, which means we're going to need to have some sort of like fancy heavy armor roof on top of these things because I did not put it underground. Um, okay, but anyways, so okay, so ores go into there, they go into the refineries, they go into the ingots container, they go into the assembler to be to make stuff. Finally, everything is going to go into a storage chest or five, I don't know, like some. Some storage chests, which uh, will be. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do. We're, so we're all, we're gonna move all this stuff. First of all, these refineries and assemblers are going to get demolished because we don't need them anymore once we have all this stuff set up. But uh, but all this stuff right here, like the spawn area, the that stuff, we're probably going to move it much closer to the hangar. So like over here or something. So with that over here, I don't know. Maybe we want the storage containers over here on the side. I'm thinking we're just gonna put up two of them for now. I don't know if we'll need that many, but... All oh, right, there we go. So it's it's underground, sort of. Like, it's not fully underground, but it's mostly underground, uh, which I think is fine. So we'll put that there, and we'll put another one right alongside it. And this will make it much easier to actually protect. We would only need to protect a little bit um, instead of having to protect everything. Okay, so for this, we're gonna have uh, one of those conveyors, and it's gonna go underground. And I guess we'll have like a little sort of basement where we'll do all the sorting. Because I I don't, at, at this point, I don't really know how I want to sort things. I don't know if I'll have like a components container, a weapons container, an ammo container, or anything like that. Currently, it's all going into one container. But I do want to leave open the possibility of sorting things differently. Which is why we're going to have this basement down here. Which is going to contain every sorter that we're ever going to want. We won't put them in yet, but we'll at least have the room for them okay all right there we go so now we have a little underground area where it it just has this one sorter right here which would then connect to all that stuff okay i think that's fine uh for now and then if we ever want to add future sorters uh in the future obviously we put them like kind of over here we'd have like a sorter going that way or a sorter going that way or anything so we have enough room if we want to change things basically is how is how i'm trying to say uh all right now begins the next step which is finding a way to Fill that block, hang on. <laughs> Putting something like right here. Uh, there we go, I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so yeah, now begins the next step of um, welding all this stuff up, which is gonna take forever. We're gonna have to do an iron expedition probably, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. So let's, uh, let's get to doing that. All right, so step one, I'm going to preemptively go on that mining expedition because we only have like 5K iron in the bank, so I know we're going to need it. So uh, let's start with that. We're going to hop in here. I don't think we're currently connected, so let's... Um, yeah, we're unlocked. Uh, by the way, a lot of you guys told me how to, how to actually set up the handbrakes. Um, last episode, I, was, I made a hilarious mistake where I, where I turned off the brakes entirely. And, uh, and yeah, that, that was fun. But, uh, but yeah, now we can turn on and off the handbrakes uh, much easier. Well, this thing doesn't have much of a turning radius, does it? I'm going to have to be a little careful. It's fine, though. Um... Yeah, okay. Sweet. Let's uh, let's head out. A little careful on that little little drop right there, but then other than that, we're good. 
Now, uh, you might notice my inventory is kind of full. The reason for that is because we have enough stuff. And I just now realized we don't have lights on this thing. But it doesn't really matter because we have lights everywhere else. Uh, I have I, I brought enough stuff to uh, put up another con uh, connector. So we don't have to manually like bring stuff. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Let's turn on our handbrake real quick and hop out. We have a one of these things right over here. That's like rare that they that actually they actually land like right next to you. Uh, do you have a button that I can press? Yes, yes. Leopard gloves. Thank you very much. Uh, I will gladly accept those. Some space credits. Nice. Um. By the way, uh, it is turned on. By the way, the, the factions thing. All these things right here. It is turned on. We just need to manage to find one of those things. I imagine if we went to space, we'd find them. There are some on the ground as well, but they're probably not anywhere near here. Inventory. All right, let's get over here. Now, what I wanted to do right here is I wanted to actually like make a second one of these. Honestly, for this, we don't really need the that. <laughs> so we can probably destroy this. In fact, I highly doubt we'll ever come back here with the with the other um, miner. So we don't need any of this. What we really need, though, is one of these going this way, and then a connector. I don't know if that's exactly how we want it, but it's hopefully close. We need four motors, which uh, we brought more than enough for, of course. We brought 46. Okay, let's just take four of those. We'll put everything else back in our ship. And hopefully this will be perfect. All right. Let's see if we can connect. All right. I don't really want to do this one in first person. I feel like I'm going to mess up horribly. So we're going to go third person for this. Oh my god, look at the lights. Like how it's coming out of the out of the front like going through the um <laughs> the gaps right there. That looks cool. Okay, we're, we're we need lights on the back. It, it's very clear. All right, very careful. We're coming in at a weird angle, but it should still work. I believe we have connection. Let's yeah, we're locked. Okay, awesome. Uh, now what I want to do is... Honestly, I think that's fine. Okay, press number 9. That will, uh, if we go back into first person, that will turn on pull ores active. Which will, uh, it'll turn off these right here, but it'll turn on the pull ores one right there. So now we're pulling ores from the base. Let's make sure we put everything else in there, and then let's go and mine. Let's do a quick little test. So now if I put anything in here, it should automatically get sucked into... The sorter that pulls ores, and then into our ship's cargo. Yeah, into our ship's cargo container. Awesome, it's working. Okay, let's uh, let's do some mining. A lot of mining, in fact. No, it is fair use if you make a parody. So by so singing country roads is illegal, but singing country toads is perfectly legal. <laughs> country toads are so green. I wonder would a country toad sound different than a city toad? Maybe one goes ribbit. Wait, do toads go ribbit? Let's assume they go ribbit. If a city toad goes ribbit, would a country toad go like ribbit? You know, like a country accent ribbit? I don't know. Wait. Do toads have accents? That's a serious question now. Do toads have accents? Okay, if you if you take like a toad from uh, Florida, and then you take like a toad from Washington State, would they sound different? Like would they, even if they're like the same species of toad, would they have grown up making their sounds a little bit different. So humans, we, we get our dialects, right? We get it like from, from our parents. Like we speak the way they speak or we speak the way the people around us speak. So do you think like a toad ribbits the way the toads around it ribbit? And then like if two toads of the same species were put in different areas and grow up in different societies, they would ribbit differently? Ooh, we're getting in some, into some psychology, some, some science, some biology. 
some some toadology. Energy low. Energy low. What? Okay, you know what? We're gonna wrap this up after I get a little bit more, just this little bit right here, and we will go home with the amount that we have. Because I think it's probably enough to last for a long, long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's let's do a quick check. Uh, hide empty again. So we have the 65, we have the 87, and now we have another 63 plus a bunch of stone. We also have a bunch of stone in here. So the stone will provide us with useful things such as silicon and uh, nickel and uh, whatever else stone provides. Uh, ship, you're, uh, you're, you're looking a little bit weird. That's fine though. Good thing we added the ladder. Let's hop right in. Okay. Uh, first step, we need to disconnect. No, first... Yes, no, that's fine. Disconnect. All right, we are now disconnected. Second, turn our handbrake temporarily. Second step, we need to turn off the pull oars thing. So press number eight for that. Pull oars active is now red. Awesome. And now let's turn off our handbrake and we'll turn around and go back to the base. I think that probably got struck by lightning. <laughs> that one is, that one's broken. All right, we'll have to come back and fix that. That's funny. Probably, it probably got struck. Okay, we definitely don't want to make the same mistake of going too fast here. Probably need to add some lights here so we can tell where we're supposed to go. But here we are. Um, all right, let's go up here and see how things are going. So this isn't currently active yet, but currently it still should get pulled into our refinery. So we can check the refinery. Ah, yes. The refinery is quickly getting a bunch of iron. Uh, so with that, what I want to do is I want to make... Let's start with a bunch of steel plates as our first mission. All right, there's our first refinery. Um, two more to make. We only need to make three out of the four because we have the uh, this one right here, which we can also transplant into there. Uh, and then for these, we only need to make three because we have the three over here, which we can transplant over there. Um, but unfortunately, we're, our steel plate production is going pretty slow. Let's see if we can make this, the large cargo container, because I know that requires uh, less steel plates and more interior plates. Um, okay, we got a full inventory of stuff. So this would be our ores one. It looks like we still need more interior plates. Are we out, or did we just not have enough inventory space for it? Okay, it looks like we did get enough. Okay, so there's our ores container. <clears throat> and it's large. I don't know if we necessarily needed a large container here, because it's really just a like a a um, what do you call it a uh, intermediary between the uh, the outside and this stuff. But I don't know if we if we ever like get like this huge mining operation, then it might work out. Which I did have some ideas for, by the way. Okay, so here comes an idea. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty far far out there, but uh, <laughs> but it might be pretty cool as well to try. Um, so I recently saw an LSG video where he was reviewing a build by someone, I forgot the name, um, uh, he was reviewing this rails build where it's pretty much like a train. It's like a proper train in Space Engineers. And it was like built perfectly. Like it was a train that you can like actually drive around and stuff. And it looked really cool. And I thought it might be kind of interesting if we were to try and build a train track that went from here, basically out to the, the lands over there that are kind of, uh, like they have a lot of ores because I know there's a lot of ores over there. There's like areas with four different types of ores in the same spot and stuff like that. But like, I don't know. I thought that, you know, that it's kind of far-fetched. It's kind of crazy, but it'd be kind of cool to have a, a train that would go there. And so pretty much we'd have like a, a huge mining operation over there getting ores. And then uh, we would bring them back by train up to our main base, which would do all of the refining and that sort of thing. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Do you think it's way too crazy, way too out there? Or do you think it's... So crazy, it just might work. I don't know. Pretty interesting. And if you haven't seen that LSG video where he reviews the, the trains, it's really cool. It's, it's, it's truly amazing. But um, let's get back to building this stuff. Okay, so this cargo container right here is going to be our ingots one. And then let's see if we can make one more, which would be that one. We don't need to make this one yet, but uh, it would be nice to be able to make the other one. All right, here we go. This is our ores container. So I'm going to name these. I'm going to call these base cargo. Base cargo. Storage. Did I say ores? No, this is our storage. Um, same thing over here. This will be base cargo ingots. And then the other one over here will be base cargo ores. 
Oh, we can see the sun rising. That means we have been <laughs> probably recording for way too long, to be honest. But let's keep going, because we need to get this stuff actually up and operational. Actually, I don't know if it'll be operational, because I don't think we have enough power. We're probably going to need to do a power expansion next episode, but we'll at least be able to get it working. So uh, I actually made these connections right here. I decided to go up and down instead of up and around, because I felt like that would be um, smoother, I guess. I don't know. So we have all the connections. Uh, all we need to do is we need to weld up these refineries and then get some of these assemblers put in. Um, I think we're still making steel plates though, so I don't know if we have enough for the uh, refineries, but let's check. Let's find out. Um, okay, there's one load of some stuff. Let's uh, try and put it in there. Let's get the next set. I think it requires three loads to do a full refinery with this uh, inventory size we're using. Now let's get the final set here. Okay, we're still out of steel plates. We still don't have enough. But we can at least weld up a little bit of it. Um, and how are the steel plates doing? I think they're working overtime. Yeah, they are. Um, ooh, ooh, nice orange sky. I like it. Um, now, the way this is set up, we don't... So the way the refineries is set up, we actually have to properly build all of these. We could build it a different way if we wanted to. But uh, we have to actually build all these because they feed into each other. So that feeds into that, which feeds into that, which feeds into that, which finally goes up there. But alternatively, we could have built it such that these, like there's a like a conveyor piece that goes up top. And if we did it that way, we wouldn't have to build up all these. Um, but I don't know. I think it's fine this way. Maybe we'll do it for redundancy's sake. Maybe we'll add like a line on the bottom that connects them all or something. And then connects to this, so we could, then we'd be able to remove these top connectors. Honestly, I kind of like that. I don't really like these top connectors being here. Just because I know we're going to have to put blocks on top, and this kind of extends how far we have to put blocks on top. Um, because we're going to be attacked by stuff, of course. Uh, so let's... Well, first let's dig out this. I'm going to actually make all the connections below, like that. Okay, so if I had a conveyor right here on the bottom... And then instead of these blocks right here, I put like uh, standard blocks. Let me just go, like drill it out a little bit. And then another one right there. Oh no, it'd be like this. It'd be like conveyor, standard block, conveyor, or no, conveyor, like smaller conveyor, bigger conveyor, smaller conveyor, kind of like that. And that should be able to allow us to go all the way on the bottom. We wouldn't even technically need this piece right here if we wanted it like that. And it would allow us to even operate this without having these actually set up, so we would be able to move all that stuff over to here much quicker and have this stuff operational. That's not a bad idea. Uh, let's put a block in right there, put a block in right here. Alright, there we go. So now these are all connected. Well, I mean, they're not all connected. We still need to connect those guys underneath. But, like, it's a start. Alright, there we go. They're now all connected on the bottom. Which hides the connection, so if we do get attacked, they can't just sever the connection very easily. Uh, and then also, this can connect over to there. So we just need to do some drilling again and get there. But uh, but that allows us to put the um, stuff underground. There we go. We now have a sorter. Awesome. Uh, we can even fill this with blocks if we... Well, we don't want to access it, but yeah, that's good. Okay, no need... I'll, I'll keep this one right here for redundancy's sake, because why not? But... Um, but, uh, but yeah, now you can see everything is kind of much flatter, so if we wanted to add blocks up top, it'd be much easier um, to stave away any attacks by any uh, hostiles. Uh, okay, by now we probably should have enough stuff for, the, um, for, for finishing that thing over there. Alright, there we go. That <laughs> They're upside down. <laughs> it's fine, though. Um, hopefully that won't bother anybody. <laughs> If it will, I'll put LCDs on the front so you can't see it. Uh, okay. So what we want to do now is in the refinery... Well, first of all, sorters. Let's get the sorters done. Um, so we have base sorter, that one. I want to rename the other one to base sorter. Um, this one is ores to ingots. Uh, and I want to actually set these to be active. So what this will do is just we'll just get all of the ingots. We're going to have a whitelist for all ingots. Let's add that. And then we're going to drain all on. 
Now for this one right here, we're just going to have a whitelist for all of the ores. And I'm going to specifically set the ores, because I don't want to just set ore because that includes ice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10. Okay, so I think that is correct, probably. And let's make sure that's draining all as well. Base sorter ores. Make sure you are draining all with that whitelist. Oh no, ores. Make sure you're draining all with that whitelist. Okay. Now from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the refinery. The base refinery. Because it's no longer in production. Or it's no longer needed. We're going to go for base refinery. Which is right there. And we're going to go to ores. Um, base cargo ores. And we're going to put them all in there automatically. Yeah, the base refinery has nothing on it now. So let's go ahead and start transferring it over to this third refinery here. Um, which should... Oh, no, we're running out of inventory space again. Should require those three trips. It's our last trip here. And there we go. Success. Um, okay, so our next step is going to be to move the assemblers as well. And then we should have... Um, them working together. Now this, are you guys working right now? Okay, you guys are not currently working. But wait, hang, or maybe you guys have already worked. Wait, did you guys already like... Wait, hang on, where's our ores? Um, iron? Do we have ores anywhere? Do they already... Oh, I guess the refinery has already refined everything, so there's nothing to, uh, to for, act for these refineries to actually do. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um... Let's get the assemblers moved over. First of all, you assembler, do you have a... Okay, they all have stuff. Hang on. Let's start with assembler number three. We'll move all the stuff over. Uh, and then can we do assembler number two as well while we're at it? Okay, yeah, we can. And maybe we... You know what? Let's just get assembler number three stuff too. All right, all the assemblers are now empty. Let's uh, take all the stuff from them. This actually saves me a lot of work because assemblers have a lot of computers in them, which are kind of a pain to build up. But, uh, yeah, let's put this in. Yeah, 160 computers for an assembler. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Alright, we have one assembler. Let's get our second one going. We'll put that one over here to where the connection is already established. And, uh... This is actually nice, because what this means, having everything here, is it's all future-proofed, pretty much. Once everything is set up here, it'll all be future-proofed. We'll have four refineries, which again, look like little cow udders over here. <laughs> but um, four refineries, we can add more if we ever need to on the like on the opposite side over here, since the connection's underground. And then six assemblers, which is double what we had before. Each with modules, which is which we didn't have before either. And then again, we can add more if we want to, over on this side. So yeah, future-proofing for the win. Let's get our last assembler going here. And then we can get rid of... So I, I really did think at the start, by the way, that I wanted our base to be here. But it just kind of makes more sense for it to be there just because of how the how the mountain dips um, and how that allows our, our uh, refineries to work. It could have still worked out over there. Like, I could have managed to make a way for it to uh, connect, but I don't know. I, I, think, I think I like it better over here. Let's get this last assembler going. And we'll do a quick, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? I need to uh, set them up as well. I forgot. Assembler number five. We're going to call this the boss. Boss. Le boss. And then assemblers number six. We're going to call le peasant. How the heck do you spell peasant? P-E-A-S-A-N-T is peasant. So these will be le peasant one. And then, uh, and then this will be number two. And then the other ones we'll rename as well, later. But, uh, number one and number two, I would like you guys to show cooperative mode. I guess I can also do these guys as well. Cooperative mode. We'll, we'll name them. You're Le Peasant 3. You're Le Peasant 4. And you're Le Peasant 5. So we have <laughs> Assembler Le Boss, Assembler Le Peasant 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All of which are in cooperative mode. Yeah. Okay, so if I wanted to do a quick little build order, let's go over here and say go to production. 
The boss is number one. Let's say I wanted to make a, a thousand of those. If I go into here, I should see that uh, Le Boss has some. Le Peasant 1 also has some. Le Peasant 2 also has some. And then, like, the other ones don't, though, because that's fine, though. All right, we now have a fully functioning setup over here. Um, we have our refine. We have three out of four refineries built. We have three out of six assemblers built. Uh, and we currently have none of the, the modules built, though. But, um, but everything is fully functional. All we have to do is weld in that stuff. But, like I said, the video is getting pretty long at this point. I think it's probably a good time to uh, to end it. We went through like a whole night cycle, which is like an hour long or two hours or something. I don't know. It's pretty long. But, um, but anyways, yeah, that's going to be the end. If you guys like this episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. Remember, episode number 10, which is just two episodes away, is going to be the one where we activate the um, the PvE elements. So get ready for that because it's coming. Or they're coming. Or something. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Arrivederci.